My favourite storyline? Oh, there were so many of them. There were some that were absolutely riveting. And then there were some on the lighter side, like um, um, going to check around that everybody was in bed and behaving themselves and, and prisoner, and uh, pulling back the bedclothes of Lizzie Birdsworth. And she had this this little brown and white dog down the end of her bed. Well, I mean, I was shocked. And I confiscated the, do the dog. And... Um, I can remember I was taking her, um, leaving the prisoner and uh, prison with the dog on a leash, and they were all—all all the prisoners were calling out, "Where are you taking her to? The glue factory?" And um, I said it was unacceptable that it was in the prison, but I took her for a walk, and uh, I actually became quite fond of this little dog. I didn't want it in the prison, but I was actually thinking that you know, it'd be nice if it came to my house to live. Um, and when I took her to the park, some people rushed up to me and said, Oh, my dog, you found my dog. And so Vera was shattered yet again because she'd given her a little bit of affection that she let out. She'd given to this little dog only to have it whipped away by its uh, truthful owners. So that's another disappointment. And that gorgeous little Strudy Doody Booty Woody uh, was my dog, Strudel. Um, she wasn't well trained, so, you know, in the park which took a, f a while, they kept on saying, now, get her to run to these people. Well, of course, she was sitting beside me because <laughs> I owned the dog. <laughs> I owned Strudel. And uh, she wasn't an actor. Um, and it was Rod Hardy's script, and we struck a deal um, that I would um, uh, get enough money for gravy beef and biscuits for the dog. So we did that, and uh, I loved having her in the show. She was such a gorgeous dog. And I've now got two more Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. Um, I've had them for a long, long time. Mm. They're my favourite dog, and I adore them.